RSV is a common respiratory virus that can lead to serious infections, especially in babies and older adults. In fact, it is the leading cause of hospitalization for infants and causes typically increased cases, I should say, typically increase this time of year. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain the risk and then how to protect your family, Doc. Absolutely. So RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus, and it is highly contagious. Now, in children and adults, it typically causes cold symptoms, but it can be extremely dangerous for babies and older people. Those groups can actually benefit from added protection. RSV is easy to catch this time of year. RSV, also known as respiratory syncytial virus, is a respiratory virus that is everywhere in the community. Um, the reason it kind of gets a bad rap is because it's very effective at infecting the lower respiratory tract, so things like the lungs and the bronchioles, and that can get little babies, less than two, in trouble if they get infected. Dr. Kristen Barrett is a pediatrician at Cleveland Clinic Children's. She says typically it spreads through respiratory droplets or by direct contact with some someone who's sick. Symptoms can include a runny nose, congestion, coughing and sneezing, fever, wheezing, and in severe cases, difficulty breathing. So what can parents do to prevent RSV? Well, Dr. Barrett recommends regularly washing your child's hands, keeping them away from anyone who's sick and sanitizing high touch surfaces. There's also an immunization shot available for babies and certain children. It is a one-time injection of RSV antibodies. It, the antibodies last for about six months, so they protect babies through that kind of most vulnerable time in the year. RSV season's usually about October through March, um, and the results are great. It results in about a 70% risk reduction for needing to seek medical intervention when a baby is infected with RSV. Now, if you're pregnant during RSV season, there is a vaccine recommended for expectant mothers between the 32nd and 36th week of pregnancy. There are also vaccines available for adults age 60 and up, as well as high-risk adults starting as low as age 50. I've always wondered, how do you know if someone has RSV versus just a regular cold? What's the difference? Well, so kind of an interesting problem. Most of the time, actually, you wouldn't. Now, for babies in particular, we often do test specifically for RSV, and even in adults, sometimes we just find out incidentally. Mm. But in babies, especially if they're having more serious symptoms like trouble breathing, we test. The thing is, there is no specific treatment for RSV, but in severe cases, we may need to hospitalize a child or even an older adult to provide supportive care like oxygen and IV fluids. Yeah. Okay. Dr. McGeorge, thank you.